Along with the eagerly anticipated announcement of the iPhone 4S, Apple also gave us a more in-depth look at its next-gen mobile operating system, iOS 5. It will ship on the next model, with both iPhone 4 and iPhone 3GS users able to update their software on the 12th of October. Here's what we've got to look forward to. Annoying pop-ups will be banished as messages, app updates, calendar reminders and missed calls are getting a refresh. They'll now appear in the notification centre, accessed by swiping from the top of your screen in a similar way to Android, and it even extends to the lock screen too. The main update to the iPhone camera is the addition of a dedicated shutter key, with Apple using the volume button to take snaps. Focusing on the right part of the picture will be easier too, thanks to pinch to zoom support built into the camera app. Taking a leaf out of Rim's book, iMessage will allow you to chat across all iOS 5 devices, and will even pick up where you left off should you switch from an iPad to an iPod to an iPhone. The obvious drawback is not being able to speak to friends on other operating systems, but that limitation hasn't stopped BBM becoming a roaring success, so Apple hopes it can create its own messaging network too. iOS 5 will now be totally PC free, meaning you'll be able to edit photos and manage iCal directly from your device. The updates to your phone, media player or tablet will still be as frequent, but instead of the whopping 600 megabyte downloads, you'll be able to get only the parts that change, meaning a much leaner upgrade process. Apple's in-house browser has also had a facelift. You'll be able to reformat sites inside Reader, taking out ads and optimising text for easier viewing. Safari now also offers tabs under the address bar, so switching between pages is lightning fast, even more so if you pick up the new dual-core iPhone 4S.